welcome back to part two of the cyberpunk club build yeah so here uh so we're back we're finishing up this little hallway before we go into the offices of the club owner uh so yes i'm just adding some little waiting chairs you know uh, i do add another chair like in the in this hallway along with some bookshelves I really do like the lights from Ecoli Style. They, they really are just really versatile to be used like that. I'm um, just adding some more windows to make it just a little bit more symmetrical. You know, make it actually fit the room and not look ace, just not fill with asymmetry. Adding like one of these to make it look more magical. You know, because why not? Why not have magical? um things in a cyberpunk build you know uh so at first i'm just like trying to find a light to, to put here so uh, at first i did those other smaller lights but then i went with those ones here i am adding some lights to the side of this thing you know again just to give it that more again just give it more lights and more color even though the room is very, very dark, you know. Uh, adding it on your beat TV, here's where I changed that area. So uh, that used to be a bar area. And then I put something else here, which gets removed, don't worry, and gets replaced with that hookah thing from City of Living, the bubble blower. But at first I did something else, and I was like, okay, well, what can we do here? Oh, maybe we can do this. No, <laughs> no, that does not end up sticking. Uh, so yeah, so here I'm just adding more and more chairs, again, adding more of these, even though, again, they make the seats unusable. Here I am just making it slightly bit tinier so that there's no clipping, adding some wall decorations, just to give it some up more, bit of a more pop there area. Uh, adding some more to these chairs, rotating them, you know, making them fit, making sure that they're not clipping out outside. Added a dance floor as well. Like, why not? You know, this is the VIP area, so why not have, like, a little dance area? Added another wall decoration in here. I'm adding in the bubble blower. It's not usable, but, you know, you can always just add a little extra chair there if you really want your sim to use it, but... I was like, it's more so for aesthetic purposes, so no. Again, we're back here with the main office. Finding a desk that work that actually works really, really well. And then I added that um those computer glasses from Discovery University. Not the greatest. Like they don't have everything that a computer would have, but like I think oh it's Cyberpunk, it's the future. Why not have computer glasses, you know? Um, so here I'm just trying to figure out what to clutter more with, added the statue, again I'm going to make it magical as well, you know, with those little orb things from, uh, Realm of Magic, added some multiple ones to make it look like it's flowing, and then I do actually add that one, like, crystal light thing from, uh, Realm of Magic, that one, that's sort of like, oh, okay, that's floating on top there, you know, it looks cool, blah, blah, blah. Uh, just fiddling around, making sure everything looks good from all angles. Change the color to be purple, again, lighting. Uh, lowered that, those hand things down to the glue pile, just doesn't show up there. And here I'm also adding in, like, this tray on top of this little cart thing, like, Oh, hey, here's some alcohol and stuff like that. Um, looking for some of the tumblers and then things like that. At first, I wanted to have it here, but then I do move it to the other side of the room because it just fit better. And then I also added some, some of those plasma packs and plasma fruit juice. Again, just clutter. I don't think they they really serve a purpose. It's more so just clutter. And here I'm just um, making sure that uh, I can place the stuff without it snapping to the table. So just moving the stuff in and then I do delete the stuff that's already attached to the table. Then I just add in a chair. I don't go with that one. I go with the one, the other one from Get Famous. 
uh, that just looks a little bit more modern. And then I just add a little light in that corner just to essentially also more light. Because there's no ceiling light in this room. I don't think there's a ceiling light in a lot of places in this build just because of how well lit everything is. Uh, so here I just go with this rug. I really do like this sort of tattered looking tiger print or zebra print or whatever print it is. But I do go with something else just because it didn't fit. And here are the curtains. I double layer it with different curtains. And then I just add like some wall art there of Vlad. Or no, not Vlad. The other people in the... <laughs> And, I think, and then I do add that, but then I do clutter on top of it with these books and extra books. I did make sure. I think the final build, unfortunately, does have like that one magic book on the uh, on the table, which unfortunately means that a sim will automatically go and put it away. I thought they do that. It's annoying. I don't know why they do that. But automatically they go put the books away for no reason it's just the books are not allowed to stand out for some reason so they put them automatically away but one way to alleviate that is to have it floating like they do here so it's not attached to the table so the sims essentially can access it so they won't put those books away those books stay there but the one on the desk in the main office does get put away if you play the slot uh, just again adding clutter to this probably would either be someone else's office or maybe an assistant whatever to the big boss of the club. I don't know. I haven't really thought it through that far. I just wanted to make a cool cyberpunk club. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically all this is. Added some more neon, light, neon lighting behind. You know, added some art to the sides of the door because I thought why not. Why not clutter it up a bit more. Uh, so here is just a bathroom with just a tub and some sinks because there are other bath. No, there is another bathroom. Just one. <laughs> it's on, on top, but this is only for VIPs, so better work on that, um, like, celebrity level if you want to access that bathroom. But yeah, here are some crypts for vampires and things like that, and I do change up what they look like. I don't keep that big one, I think. Or no, way. I do. I think I just put something there. So here I'm just moving around with tool, adding some more neon lights, just essentially, again, to do something cool with it. This did take me quite a while because of the, okay, um, but I do delete everything else in every other room just because I didn't want to place, do this, like, two more times I would rather just do it the once and then copy and paste it because that was just a lot easier so here I'm moving I want uh, it sucks that I couldn't curve it just the way that I wanted to with the arches but that was great but it still looks fine um and here I'm just, again, changing the colors, and I do eventually just go with a solid color for each room. These sort of gradients didn't look that great. So eventually I do switch it to more of a solid color, and I do add a little, I wanted to add a fountain, but I, then I added a pool. Because fountains don't work in basements. So then I just added the pool, and then I'm changing all of these to a separate color. We have purple, blue, and red. Although I probably should have made one green, but nah. And then I'm adding this hint symbol that was outside of the club to here. You know, just making it look really, really cool. Making it fit in with the rest of the club. And also just like giving a place for your vampires, you know. So that works. And then I do, I did try to add this, but it kind of cut off, cut off a part of it. So I'm like, no, I can't really add this. So then I just add a, like a little fountain in the middle and then I do change the color because that also adds a weird lighting effect when you change the color. And then I also add these statues in each of the room and each of the rooms. And then I add in a, a rug everywhere. Uh, I also made it look a little bit more older, cracked, you know, 
slightly falling apart, but not yet there type of thing. Uh, but yeah, that is, that's it for those areas. And then I do, no, I, I do the bathroom first. So I went with this sort of art deco type of look. Type of look. Don't know why. Just, I wanted to because it looked classy, you know, and fancy. And that's the type of vibe I got from this place. You, you'd at least get some fanciness here and there. Uh, so I went with this art deco style. Added some lights. And then here is a lab area. I don't know why I added this. I just wanted to. I, I wanted to have something in this area. So here's where they like work on robots and um, have prisoners and then things like that. It kind of sucks that you can't change the color of the robotics table. And then I just clutter up everything here. And I do add in a little computer area. And then those bars, those cell bars. They're actually the Get Famous prop, so I don't know if it's entirely functional, but, you know, it's there. And then I just add, like, a bunch of TVs, screens, and things like that, and then I do add a computer there for your Sims to use if they want to. And then here's just more kitchen things. I don't know. I do add some more bookshelves here as well, you know, essentially, oh, like, scientific stuff and things like that. Oh, excuse me, I'm very burp today. But yeah, I just added a little thing there. Then I added these bookshelves, which I think fit in really well there, oddly enough. And then I added the little prisoner's quarters. And then I think that's... No, oh no, I, I do add like a little few extra things here and there, make it look a little bit more like those pipes and grungy things here and there. And then I do add like a backing to, well, I do add those vents, but then I do add a backing here to the uh, counter area there. And then I just add a lot of trash and stuff like that outdoors here. Again, to sell that whole like grossness and futuristic and everything is dirty and grungy and, and everything like that. So that's mostly it. Uh, that's about it that I think for the build, I think the screenshots are coming up in like a few seconds minutes I don't know I'm just looking here I can't really exactly tell how long the screenshots are going to be but I'm add, I added more mural space so that if you wanted to make more murals as well as outdoor seating and then I think oh no wait and then I add this little trim here I don't know why I did that I could have probably just used an actual trim but I thought why not you know and then I add this trim so yeah, that's about it for this build. We're moving on to the screenshots now, I'm assuming. I don't know. Yeah, so here is just the exterior of the build. I really think that it captures a whole like cyberpunk feel to it. This is the interior, very classy, even though it's also kind of grungy looking. Um, this is the interior. Really love this whole main room. The lights, the neon, everything just looks so cool. Cool. Uh, and then we move on to this little detailed area here with all the clutter and then the bathroom again kind of grungy the window just looks out of place there here's the vip section you know very again very classy sorry for the roof clipping here but that's nothing i could do with that there's little hallways you know and then we move on to this little office nothing special it's just meant to be there and then we have this main office which is very very bright which is uh, something that i didn't think would happen uh here is the basement just a little bit of clutter in this hallway then we move on to these three crypts they are the exact same with a few clutter details different and the color of the lights differing and then we have this fancy bathroom but yeah then next up is just the lab but yeah that's it for me for this build i hope you guys enjoyed it Remember to do all those good things that YouTube wants to do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.